uh, yeah, that's all from my mom's cassettes, um, driving to and from YMCA for swim lessons. Yeah, musically, it starts off with that riff, the, uh, the... And that was, I think, probably inspired by, I was probably going for, like, a Tom Petty thing, like that jangly Mike Campbell guitar. Um, especially on the recording, you can kind of hear that influence. Um, yeah, the chorus, that F, C, G, A minor, um now placing myself in time with it so was probably influenced a little bit by the Numa Numa dance which was that um that like viral video of the guy dancing to that song by Ozone I don't know how, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly but Dragostia Tinde something like that but the my he my 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 Ozone wants to sue me. I guess I've just uh, opened myself up to that. So, cool. And I think the last uh, influence that feels when I'm listen listening back to it, um, my mom had these cassettes that my dad made for her of different songs that she liked and different songs that like, he thought that she would like. And so there's this one song uh, by Sophie B. Hawkins um, from her 94 album, Whaler. Uh, I don't think there's any other songs on there that um, broke the top 40, but there's one song, Lay Me Down, uh, or As I Lay Me Down, um, which has also that kind of octave to octave. It's not an octave, but it's like the, the jumping of the melody where it's like the as I lay me down to sleep this I pray I'll put a little thing in the video as I lay me down to sleep this I pray so she does it better than I do but that was I, I do know the Numa Numa thing's a theory because it's just around that time but the Sophie B. Hawkins thing I know has been highly influential on my songwriting and that I love I just love that song and um so you I, I noticed that here I know this in another song that I have wrong organ it has that that same kind of melody um quality so uh yeah that's all from my mom's cassettes um driving to and from YMCA for swim lessons uh so you know I feel like that was uh definitely part of the the influence for Under the Sun, musically. So, yeah, I think that's what I got. Thanks for watching, guys, as always. Just like last time, you can check out the um, Play This Song When post, um, whenever I posted that a couple days ago. And uh, Under the Sun, that single's up on Bandcamp now, so you can check that out, too. Um, cool. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.